What's up everybody, Sam Smyers here. Today I want to show you how to make the leap to jump by Blackpink. All right, so welcome back to the channel. And just as a reminder, please go ahead and give this video a like and please subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. This song was actually produced by Diplo and it has a techno feel to it. Now this lead, it sounds almost like a horn sound that was sampled, a one shot horn sound that had a few layers in it, but I just wanna see how close I could get by trying to make something in Serum and I came up with something that sounds relatively close, maybe not exactly like how a one shot sample. So maybe if you found a horn sample pitched it up a lot because it sounds like it's pitched up a lot and during the song it also gets pitched down again to I think what is maybe the normal pitch but it's fine horn sample like that then you can pitch it up and then play it really really tight like staccato notes like in this song so that's maybe another way you could do that approach that but since I'm doing everything in serum all the time <laughs> I try to remake it in serum and also with another layer that is like a noise layer. I felt like in that each little hit had this noise layer in it and I was trying to use some of the noises in Serum, but then I was like, well, it sounds almost like a, a ride cymbal is being hit every time it's being played. So then I just had this ride cymbal and I had these grouped together with some reverb and the kickstart. Let's take that off. And so that is played on top of the sound. And I tried to do it like in Serum, you can load in the noise, but the the release on this is a lot longer and uh, the re release on the actual synth sound that I, the synth sound that I used in Serum, it was a lot tighter. So I felt like it was a lot easier just to separate them. But as a preset, when I did create the preset, I did come up with a way to put that ride inside of the noise here. So this is a preset that I'm going to make and put into my Patreon that sounds like this. We can hear that ride in there. There it is really high. Can make it a techno, yeah, pick, use that for like a techno track, but that is gonna be the presets that I made. I'll put that in my Patreon. But when I try to match it to the song, uh, I felt like the having the two layers, it was a lot easier. So let me just show you what I did in Serum then. And I will just take all of these off. Go through this one by one. Voicing's on mono because it's a lead. And my envelope, I have this attack. Slow rising up like that. 25 milliseconds. Goes down really quick. But then I, I wanted to have a tiny bit of release as I hit each one hit each one of the notes. So that's a pretty unique envelope one shape. Then I just started off with a saw wave, four voices of unison, detune, 0.17. Raised up this level a bit. Oscillator B just going to be a saw wave again. Four voices of unison, detuning around the same. 0.17 and then the semitones is up plus three though. With this level adjusted slightly, adjusted downward. And then I just need a bit more in the center of this for the sound and this is where Serum 2 comes in handy because now I can just add on another oscillator to get that. And this is going to be on wavetail position seven. That's just one of the pulse waves in here. You've got square wave and then it decreases the um, pulse there, the width. So this one is in the seven and I adjusted that level on there. And then I just went into the effects, added on a bit of distortion, like a tube distortion. Raised up that level a tiny bit, and then I try to do some EQing where I'm cutting off the low end and giving a lot of boost around two to three kilohertz. And then from there, you can add on a reverb in there, but since I wanted to layer it with this symbol, 
which I will show you the symbol that, that I used. I just used a symbol from Splice. It says BOS underscore ATA symbol ride one shot lights. And then I just lowered the pitch a bit by using a frequency shifter. Or I raised it up actually 137 hertz. EQ'd it a bit and I just exported it using bounce. Command B is now the shortcut. And those together now. Then I grouped those together, added on just some reverb. The decay is pretty long, three seconds or so. 40% dry and wet, uh, so 40% wet. And then added on some sidechain mix at 60%, and that's the kickstart too. So that's how you can recreate that lead to jump in Serum. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like. And also please subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. And if you'd like to check out any of my Serum preset packs, head on over to store.sansmires.com.